What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the TCS Network. It's your boy, son of a Bitcoin. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and to smash that notification bell. Only if you enjoy the content. Just a free way to help me uh, boost the algorithm and, and reach more uh, DGENs like yourselves. So, um, guys, if you're watching this video because you're new to Cardano and you want to learn uh, how to actually, like, attain and, and, and get these Cardano NFTs that you see me going on and on and on about every day on all my platforms, then this is the video you want to watch. So today I'm going to teach and try to walk you guys through on how exactly to acquire uh, Cardano NFTs and, and when you do have them, uh, how to trade and sell them as well. Um, so for me, I just use the NAMI wallet. Um, a lot. It was it was the first wallet I used. That or Uroi um, was the first wallets that I downloaded. Um, and those are like my my gateway into the Cardano NFT ecosystem. Okay. Um, most people, uh, if you're watching this video, you probably already know about these centralized exchanges that are out, like Coinbase, like Crypto.com, very popular, like Binance. Okay, uh, these I look at as merchants, car, uh, crypto merchants. These are places I go to get my cryptocurrency, at least the traditional tr uh, cryptocurrencies. And so that's about it. That's all I use them for. I don't store my crypto there or anything. I just get it from there. Um, one big rule that everyone needs to know right off the bat, never... Um, Never try to buy a Cardano NFT from a centralized exchange. Meaning, uh, if you're going to send Cardano to an address that's supposed to send you an NFT back, whether you're minting a new NFT um, or you're just doing a trade or something, you can't use your Cardano address if it's a centralized exchange. It has to be a Shelly era address and what i mean by that is they all start with a d d r one um so and that might sound complicated right um but all it really is is uh like for ethereum when you buy ethereum nfts you need to have an ethereum wallet uh people always use metamask right uh they they put their ethereum in metamask and then they go and buy their nfts and they store them in MetaMask. They don't. They don't buy them from Coinbase and store them on Coinbase or Crypto.com. Okay, uh, just that's not how how it's being done. Um, so for Cardano, you need a Cardano wallet. So I recommend Nami. It's very user friendly, uh, especially to beginners. A lot of these uh, NFT projects that are coming out um, come out with these websites, and a lot of these websites. Uh, are able to link to your NAMI wallet. Um, so that's why I like to use NAMI for an example. So uh, when you want to get a NAMI wallet, you want to go to namiwallet.io. Uh, make sure it's .io. Uh, you'll get to a screen like this, and it'll tell you NAMI wallet is available on Chrome, Brave, or Edge. Now, I have Edge, and I've already downloaded it. Um, when you download it, you pick which one, depending on your browser type. Um, and when you download it, uh, it says download as an extension. Um, and you can download it then as an extension and you can click add on, whether it's Chrome or whatever. I'm using a Chrome web store. You come to this page. Now I've already added it on. I could remove it. I'll never do that. And then once you have it and you create it, um, you're able to then store your Cardano NFTs on your NAMI wallet. Um, whereas you can't store those anywhere else unless it's a Cardano wallet. So the process of creating it, you're given uh, a password, you create a password, um, and then you're also given a seed phrase, which is a comprised of 12, I believe to like 20 or 12 or 24 letters. Um, I'm sorry, words, uh, random uh, phrases that are kind of mixed up. And you, you never want to forget that C phrase because 
the order of these 24, 12 to 24 random words that you get as a seed phrase is your, that's your, uh, that's, that's, that's your wallet right there. Um, if you want to transfer your wallet, uh, to CC vault, um, or if you lose access, you can take your seed phrase and, um, go over to CC vault or, or another na another computer, go on NAMI and type that seed phrase in and all your stuff pops up. It's, it's like your, your passcode. All right. It's your responsibility to keep track of your seed phrase. Uh, and you will be given that upon the creation of your NAMI wallet. Um, so do not forget your seed phrase, write it down, store it, do whatever you got to do, but don't forget the seed phrase. Very important. Um, so yeah, once you get this NAMI wallet, guys, you're pretty much golden and you're good to go. All you do from there um, is you have to buy Cardano off of these centralized exchanges like I listed before, Coinbase, Crypto.com, uh, Binance, wherever you're cracking, eToro, wherever... Uh, you're buying your Cardano from. You buy it there, and then you send it to NAMI. So you go on your NAMI. Now I created a NAMI, right? So we can pull it up right up here in the top where all my extensions are. I got MetaMask wallet, NAMI, different things. So I pull up my NAMI wallet. It's named TCS Network for the TCS Network channel. Um, and it shows my amount of ADA that I'm holding in there currently, uh, just under 2,000 ADA at the moment. Um, I got all my other tokens. I got some Pavia token here and this wallet. And then I can click here and can look at some of the collectibles I hold, some of the NFTs that I have in my wallet here. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And then uh, a record of my transactions as well. Uh, over on the right so you can see it's uh pretty cool uh it's very user friendly and easy to kind of understand um so this is what it looks like and it just hangs out up there in your extensions tab now the actual process of buying and selling and getting cardano onto your wallet so that you can then buy it from these marketplaces you go to send to receive i want to receive right so i'm going to click receive and you'll get this pulled up you click copy you copy your address, then you go over to Coinbase and you click send under the section of where you hold your assets that you want to send. And you enter that address. You paste it into the section where it says receiving address. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, so it's very simple. Uh, it seems complicated because the addresses are long, um, but it's really not. It's just a simple copy and paste move. Uh, that's all you got to do. So you, if you can figure that out and get the Cardano on your NAMI wallet, then you can just go over to the marketplaces and check them out. And now there's, there's multiple marketplaces on Cardano. Uh, the most most primarily used one right now is jpg.store. You go on and uh, you can link uh, Jero Wallet, Flint, Eternal, or NAMI. In this case, I have my NAMI wallet. Uh, once you link it, it's very simple. You go on NAMI, um, you go to settings, and uh, it should be able to tell you everything that you currently have linked to your wallet, um, like what, what sites can access it or whatever. And it's always important to know that you, know, you should exit out of everything. Um, you don't want something having access to your wallet that holds all your assets in it, right? You want to clear all that out. Um, but when you're in the marketplace, you need it to have access to your assets and your ADA so that you can buy things. Um, so now that I'm linked up here, make sure top right corner you go on jpg.store and you link that NAMI wallet. Once you do that, it'll pop up all the ADA you own and things of that nature. You can go uh, look at trending, uh, do you know your own research, and you know buy whatever NFTs you want, really. Um, mechanism overexposed the new new mint that just came out um so i could come over here now and i could just buy something uh, now i don't want to particularly buy that nft as an example to show you guys but um
I'll buy a, I'll buy a MFR just to show you. So we pull up to uh, D bag MFRs hanging around the floors around eighty something. Um, here's a Cardano eyed robe. Um, so you scroll through, you find out uh, which ones you want, which you know you look at the rares and should kind of try to figure it out. We got a Goku with a robe and an Ethereum chain. That's pretty gangster. Um, yeah, okay. I'll grab him. So you, you click the NFT you want to buy. You go over to buy. Click. And um, all of a sudden, your NAMI will pop up. And it'll ask you to put in your passcode. Click sign. Confirm with passcode. Click confirm. And then you buy it. And then it's uh, you confirm that you bought the asset. You go over to here. You go over, you got to click your activity, click your activity, and you'll see um, sales, unlisted, uh, listed, whatever. Uh, and you can see all that right on this particular marketplace. And that's, this isn't the only one. There's freeroam.io, which I believe is a better marketplace. It's just not being utilized yet. There's cnft.io. You also, it's like the same process. You link your uh, NAMI wallet there. And you're able to go through and buy stuff. So just remember that the wallets, the Cardano wallet right now is the key to buying Cardano NFTs. If you want Cardano NFTs, you're going to need a Cardano wallet. Once you have a Cardano wallet, you're going to link. have to link it to a marketplace. Once those things are done, you're all set to go. Uh, one last thing with most of these marketplaces, or some of them, in this case, jpg.store, they like you to set collateral. Um, so what you can do is, uh, people who don't know how to figure that out, you go up here on your NAMI, um, you click your NAMI in particular, you go to collateral, it's already set up, click collateral, uh, right now it's only 5 ADA, and then it'll say you can click add, make sure you have 5 ADA obviously, and then you add the collateral into your account. Um, in this case I already have it, so it says remove. Once you have it there, um, I think uh, you're, you're all set to buy, sell, and trade on jpg.store. Um, so, yeah. With that being said, you guys, um, just, uh, you know, go in, check it out. Um, don't go in completely blind. Uh, do your research. There's things that I pay attention to when I dive into certain projects, whether it be volume, uh, the scarcity, the distribution of wallets, the art, um, the team behind it. Uh, there's a ton of different things that I really like to look at the community, um, you know, Twitter and their discords and um, their overall mission, roadmap, white paper. Um, so when it comes down to doing your own research, you know, don't just come on here and just start buying. I mean, do whatever you want, right? Not fi No financial advice. Uh, but just do a little research, you know, see something weird like this, like, like I did. And I, at first I was like, D-bag MFers, do I really want to go in on these? It looked kind of weird. Not really that cool of art on Cardano compared to other things, but I am a D-bag MFer, so screw it, right? I went all in. I did my research first. I learned about the CCO and what a CCO is and, um, learned a little bit about the backstory and i decided i am gonna buy some of these i do believe in the project uh, despite what whatever the artwork looks like um bought boss planet of ox cats you know uh, i might wait till they dip a little bit more who knows we'll see how you know the items is only six thousand six hundred sixty six maybe i'll wait till they're all out before i go sniping you know um there's little tips and tricks that you start to pick up after doing this for a while um, so just uh, keep that stuff in mind and uh, stay tuned and watch some of my other videos if you want to know of some upcoming projects or some projects that I hold or own or that I'm really interested in myself. Um, so yeah, see you guys later. I hope that uh, you guys figure this out and that you can start to buy more Cardano NFTs in the future. All right, son of a Bitcoin, we out.